Hey, what is up guys? Someone's right here bringing you a brand new Minecraft tutorial, and in today's tutorial, it's going to be a, a basic remake of one of my more popular videos, uh, how to make a Minecraft TNT cannon. So, uh, basically, it's just like before, except uh, I've learned how to make it fully automatic. So to start out with, all you're going to need is a dispenser, some redstone repeaters, redstone, block of your choice, water, a slab of your choice, and a button, and of course, you're going to need TNT. So to start out, get the block of your choice, place three along, and then you're going to want to come eight back. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to want to place another block to the right, and but then get out your dispensers, place six, six, place the block of your choice, I'm just going to be using the stone bricks, and then place a slab. Now I'm going to take out the stone bricks again. And then I'm just going to go all the way along, just like so. So there's one there, one there, and then all in between on top of the dispensers. So now you're going to want to take your dispensers again, and on the very last block right next to your stone, you're going to want to place a dispenser on the uh, opposite side of the six dispensers. Now you can take your redstone, put three along, and then put them all the way across two blocks up except for on this last one. Now take your redstone repeaters and you're just going to want to keep placing them and putting them four on a 4 tick delay just like I'm doing. And then right, you don't want to have a redstone be going into the uh, dispenser so just place redstone block. Redstone dust. So now go in your dispensers and place TNT. like so. Okay, and now you're going to want to get your water, place it on the very end, right in between your three redstone so that the water flows out and hits the stone slab. Now take your button, place it right in between the three redstone, click the button, and then let's watch it. And you can see it launched really far. So that's cool and all. But, you know, what about it be being automatic? Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys next. Alright, so to make this thing fully automatic, you're going to want to get out your redstone repeaters, go two blocks away from the very front by your button, just like so, and then you want to place six along. Six, so that's six. Okay, now place them on four ticks back, four tick delay. Now go one block away. And then place six again facing the opposite direction. And put them on a four tick delay too. And take your redstone and connect it all. Destroy your button and then place one there so the red so the redstone from this is going up onto that. Okay, and now I'll have one block of redstone coming back place a block, push a button, and then what that will do is it'll just trigger like a little clock, and it will just keep going, so they just keep launching, and as you can see, it just becomes fully automatic, which is very, very cool. So I'm sure you, you guys can think of some ways to improve this, but if this video helped you guys or you enjoyed it, I see please leave a like, comment, subscribe helps me out a lot. Aside from that guys, have a nice day, peace out, and be sure to like, favorite, and share the video.